All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai nine twenty two. Okay, <laughs> um, I should let everyone know. Fairy tale chapter was a lot better than last one. A lot better, like leaps and bounds. Like you know, it's it's no it's it's no it's no funny business. It's it's like okay, and it the second half was 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 pretty much you know a setup fight. It's going into full motion. One that we deserve after cool heroes bullshit last week. But that's not what this video is about. This is um Kenichi review. Um Chapter 502. This one was called For Love. <laughs> but this Kenichi chapter, I was like I, I didn't get into it. It was like at least with fairy tale, you had different things happening. Here, it was just a fight, and that that should be good. But the problem is, it was really nothing happening. I mean, now, yeah. before I go into the summary here, I want to mention um, on Google Plus, they're doing this new thing. This new thing, like, holy shit. <coughs> I got a little tickle in my throat. Um, this new thing called communities. And I, at first, they came up with it, and I was looking at it, and I wanted to create my own community, and I couldn't. And someone told me, uh, at first, in the beginning when they started it, you couldn't, but now you can. Everybody creates these communities, and basically what it is is, and... I might do a video on this. I'm not sure. I just want to briefly mention this. What it is is you create a community, you name it, and you bring in members. You invite people from your contacts on Google+, invite them. And you can make them also a moderator, which is a person who, you know, helps put in photos and videos and do discussions and all this other stuff. On Google Plus, if you go on my Google Plus and go to communities, you'll see um, the community that I made up, and I'm probably gonna make up two other communities, which are gonna be specific to to specific mangas and stuff. So look forward to that in the future uh, for Google Plus. Now, Kenichi, uh, this chat, like I said, this chapter was very annoying. And boring and like, you know, I was like, you know, I was, and more or less the, the hints of this chapter was like, so stupid. It's like, oh, Rimi's gold shoes fall off the bridge. Miyu goes, get, goes and tries to grab the shoes, gets the shoes. Rimi then attacks Miyu. Miyu loses the shoes. Rimi gets back her shoes and then they start fighting. And that was pretty much what happened. Aside from a, a slight instance with uh, Takeda and Lou. And Lou's telling him, you should concentrate on your own fight. That's what happened. You know, it was like... It was, it was boring. And it was 17 pages. And I'm like... And there was one, you know, manga stream have a page there. So... It was 16. I'm like, god damn it. It's so fucking short. I'm very upset with the Kenichi chapter. It was like, come on. Ugh. Actually, want to not review. No, I'll continue reviewing. Um, and basically, yeah. Basically, me falling down the bridge, trying to get the shoes. Go the shoes, you know. I'm like, come on. And then, uh, you know... It, it, uh, Takeda is fighting Lou, and Lou is, uh, able to grab Takeda's arm, and he's crunching on it, um, with his leg, and I think Rimi says, oh, you're making a fool out of me, you know, uh, and then we go from that to, you know, gotcha, and then Rimi steals her shoes back from Miyu, and, and they start fighting, and then he says, Rimi fights for love. Oh, by the way, Mimi, I got something to tell you. You're fighting for somebody who's in a fucking wheelchair. 
<laughs> but it, it was, that was it. It was just them fighting. And the only, the only good part about it was like midway. So basically, no, not real talking going on, except for this one line, uh, you know, Miyuza telling her, but that uh, Satsu Jinkin that you learn hurts people, and furthermore, it hurts yourself. You should have been seeing what happened to those most important to you. She's, yeah, but she's got like psycho-wise reviews, she's, but to gain great power, you, we have to be prepared to take great risks, all right? I'm like, bitch, bitch. Read me? Okay. Uh, there's a psych ward down the road from that amusement park. Why don't you go see it and just have someone check your brain? Because obviously, you're delusional. Delusional. Um, so, and it's just them fine. Oh, we get to see me, you, and her big tits. <laughs> <laughs> I I am beginning to understand why King of Lightning has dropped Kenichi. And the fact that he thinks Kenichi is worse than Fairy Tail? Wow. Wow. That that speaks volumes. That really, really speaks volumes. Um So the fight starts and you know eh, you're going back and forth. And she says, I'll have you taste every bit of our my training. You know, and she's beating up Miu back and forth, back and forth. Miu can't hit her. You know, uh, Miu's saying it'd be that effective. And just when it seems like Rimi is getting the upper hand and she's knocking Miu all over the place, Miu um, does this thing called True Swallow of Illusional Night. And she just sits there. Stands there on the on the because they're on a, a roller coaster, so they're fighting on top of a roller coaster. It's like holy shit, and she's able to fend off uh, Remy and hit her, and uh, and basically Miu tells her that you were going really fast. It, well, you were faster, but I just decreased the power in my fist in order to increase my own speed. And, uh, and then Mia says, oh, indeed, but your key is so strong, I could follow that. And she's, like, saying, no way, you know, and, and then, and she's, like, and Mia's saying, you know, however, when your key scatters, it means your heart is distracted. And then she hits her, and she falls into a water, or a fountain. And then, Rimi's saying that you couldn't do it last time. Did your training make you stronger? And then Miu says, I only learned it to do it right now. And she says, I see, then it's your loss. I'm like, alright, yes. That was basically it. Aside from the middle of the chapter where, you know, Miu was standing there and she was able to anticipate um, Rimi's attacks and was able to um, increase the speed of her fists against Rimi, that's all that happened. It was like, and what was this? This is this is five hundred and two. Now, listen, this chapter was. Ugh. I mean, it would have been better if we went to other fights, you know, like things. You know, it was, it was blase. I was like, yeah. I mean, at least, like I said, the fairy tale chapter. You had more going on. This was just a fight. It was a good fight, don't get me wrong, but majority of it was nothing. It was just, aside from that one instance when Rimi was was on the warpath beating up Miyu constantly, and Rimi was, and Miyu was able to stop and anticipate her and was able to fight back and bring her down to a point. That was all that happened. I hope next week we go back, we go back to the other fights. Because, I mean, you can't stick on this fight all the time too long. And she's saying, it's uh, then it's your loss. I mean, you know, listen. Rimi, this is my problem with Rimi, okay? She's too confident. That's number one. All these guys are a little bit too confident from Yomi. All of them. All of them. Even Odin. Odin. You are in a wheelchair. And you know who Odin's fighting? He's fighting Freya. I'm like, 
If Odin was fighting Kenichi, would he be able to beat him? I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. I mean, I understand he's got some, you know, but... And someone made a good comment with, 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 with what I'm going... I'm probably... And, and rating-wise, three. I'm going to give this a three out of five. It was blasé. It was... I want to see more, you know, factors here. Like, I want to see somebody... I don't know if it's... I don't care if it's Kenichi or Miyu. Go berserk. Go, like, real crazy, you know? But... One person made an interesting comment to me. He said, what if Odin switched sides? What if he goes from Yomi to Kenichi's side? That was what he was uh, suggesting. Now, here's my theory. And the reason why I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 is it's not... I want to see something happen in this, uh, this these fights that would be like, whoa. What the fuck just happened? You know, I want to see, I want a surprising thing happen that turns things around. And what I would like to see, see Miu in I think last week's chapter, the one a few chapters before it was before the five hundred chapter. She was able to sense people before they were there, to sense where people's presence were, and I'm wondering if she can do that. During the fight with 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 Rimi, she does it, and she finds out that Kenichi's in trouble, and he gets rocked like hard, almost to the point where he gets beaten up pretty badly, and he's almost on death's door, and she snaps. She snaps, and she completely annihilates, annihilates Rimi, and goes to Kenichi's aid, because if she did. Who knows? She might go really crazy and kill them. Yeah, kill them. That would that would be an interesting thing to concur. Now, this was a Baze pack chapter. This was an alright chapter. It wasn't it wasn't terrific. It was okay, you know. Um I mean, oh fan service. <laughs> you know, if you get the fan service. But still, it was an alright chapter. I mean, last week's was different. Last week's was different. It had more going on with it. You know, we saw Odin, Freya, and, you know, uh, you know. I mean, it's hard to do, do set up chapters and then go into the fights and, and, you know. You know, so that that was my, my, my little thing on it. And um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what happened. I, I hope that I want to see something happen that's going to turn the whole, this whole fight with the Yomi around. I want to see something intense. Something that's going to be like, holy shit, I did not see that coming. Because I think ever since she came back, Miu, from Tidad, from, I forgot his name, uh, um, that guy, I forgot his name. I can't believe I forgot his name. I'm going to go back to my reviews of Kenichi and remember his name. But ever since she's been back from that arc, she had this doe power. If anybody had threatened, you know, Kenichi or anything like that, she would unleash it and go crazy. I want to see that happen. And tell me what you guys think about that. This was an alright chapter. I want to see more. It, you know, gold shoes. I mean, man. But, but we'll see. We'll see. But I want to agree with that guy, whoever wrote that comment about Odin changing sides. I do agree. I do think he might change sides. I think he might change. He might go to the other side and not be with Yomi. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, this is probably going to happen. This is, these fights are going to go on for a couple more chapters, at least. So, yeah. This has been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Don't stick around. Next is the fairy tale review. Oh boy, that was good. That was good.